going on MTG fans I will show you a live recording of me playing in a pro tour tournament event last week so you'll be able to see footage of that the deck that I played um, skip to about minute uh, one and a half to be able to catch that video after, I'll play that video right after I'm done talking um, guys I played black green I played versus torrential gear Hulk which is the blue red control um, I played versus somebody who actually casted all four torrential gear Hulks. actually three were on the board at the same time as I actually be, I was actually able to beat that deck I played black green and a little bit differently than some other people play so you can check that out and tell me your comments on actually the black green deck and what you think also guys feel free to like and subscribe for future videos and um, because I'll be talking about cards that I think are going to drop in value and also rise in value based upon what I see in tournaments and also the rise and fall of zombie decks and I'll get into that in future videos so subscribe for that guys I hope also too that you don't dislike the video for the iffy video quality while I'm shooting the tournament you have to understand I'm shooting the tournament and playing at the same time so guys I spend my own money on my own cards, whether it's online and physical play. So, guys, when I make decks, I will not steer you wrong. I'm not going to tell you to run, you know, four four planeswalkers that cost thirty bucks if they're unnecessary. I'm not going to do that. So, I play with my own money. Anyway, guys, enjoy the video and tell me what you think and like and hit that subscribe button. Guys, here's the start of the standard PTQ online. So, this is the first hand that I've got right here. As you can tell, I have. Uh, Liliana's Last Hope, Glensley Siffner, and two of them in the Constrictor. See how it goes. Guys, I'm at a PTQ event online. I just want to explain to you why Death's Majesty is so important. Um, because, as you can see, I got Gear Hulk from my graveyard. So they harness lightninged my Gear Hulk like crazy. You can see right here, I'm sorry for the bad quality. And then the next turn, they had to tap out to do that. So then what did I do? Next turn, I just dropped Liliana's Death Majesty, return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature is a black zombie and just other creature type. So I brought this back into the battlefield and dropped all four counters on this creature, Rishgar. They're already a 3-3, now they're down to 2 life versus the Gearhawk deck. This is turn 11. So That's the power of the Planeswalkers, putting them in this deck. Just another example. And yes, I'm surviving three gear hawks. You're seeing that right now. So I'm at 20 life still. But they are going to harness lightning. They have it. Yeah, they're going to do that. They're going to harness lightning that. So I got them down to two life, but this is looking a little bit rough here. But I got them kind of gassed out. All right, so they're attacking with one of their. Look, I'm surviving various gear hawk guys, and I'm at. No kidding, I'm at 20 life. And they are at two. This is the power of the Planeswalker in Black Green. So now he's going to target my Planeswalker. What he doesn't realize is that I have a. Oops. What he doesn't realize is that I have a Never Return in my hand. They're tapped out. So and I have a seven-seven on the board because I kept on bringing Gearhawk and putting counters on creatures through Death's Majesty, which can return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. So of course he's going to target that. Very smart. And he's thinking, oh, I got two gear hulks, I can block this 7 7 creature. Well, that's not going to happen. You're tapped out, you're tapped out, and now it's going to create some problems. So now you're going to be down to one gear hulk first, my 7 7 creature. They have two cards in hand. Plus, now we got Ronus. So this is perfect. We got Ronus on the board, indestructible, can't do anything about it, and I highly doubt they're going to be able to get rid of this 7 7 at this point in the game. See what I'm talking about? So, so here's what we'll do we'll cast Never onto one of their creatures by Gearhawk and remember R Ronus gives trample too so and then we're gonna attack Guys, you're seeing this in a top tier. This is what I'm talking about, competitive games. He's forced to, He's going to have to block with Gearhawk. He has no choice. He's at two life. Turn 12. Then he's tapped out, so there's nothing he can do. He can't counter Ronus. So now he has to count. So worrying about my Planeswalkers, he's not, he's not accounting for all my creatures. So now we're in destructible death touch mode. 
and we got another wrist shard in our hand. So that's look. I mean, that's now they do have some blockers. They do have a four-one blocker. This game could change, but they've used three of their gear hawks already. So I don't know what else they have. I mean, they could have a harness lightning. They do have three energy tokens. You know, so maybe they could um, do a genius. They can do a glimmer of genius and gain um, two energy counters, and then that would be five. And they can harness lightning. You know, but I don't know what they can draw into really at this point. Because I can just give this trample. I mean, look at this. Um, another target creature gets to plus two, plus zero, and gains trample to end a turn. This is going to be a nine seven rolling into them. Um, they can make this a one four. So I mean, it's kind of tough. If I have any destruction that comes in, let's let's see what I draw here. And just a little thing. And I also have this. I might be able to end the game. Hold on. So we're just going to ball out here. We're just going to make this a 2-2. Two -two. I'm going to give uh, this creature trample right here. So we're just going to go ahead. Oh, I can't do that because I'm tapped out. <laughs> Never mind, I tapped out all my green. That's all I got. So we're just going to see what he does. This is a risky move by me, by the way. Let's see what he does. Yeah. What do you got? You need a genius? Try to genius into harness lightning, like I said you were gonna do? No, commit. Put target spell. Ooh, very good. Yep, yeah, so uh, there you go. As you can see in the PTQ, um Ronus won. Um they used all four of the gear gear hawks in that game. So Let's go right to the sideboard. Hopefully everything works out for game two. One zero versus Gearhawk. Right, guys, also playing zombies heads up in the PTQ event. So here you kind of go. I have winding constrictor. I have winding constrictor. Liliana, Last Hope, and here's the board. So since we have two Lilianas right here, um, what we can do is we can do a lot of things, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Kalidus back into the game, um, because that's stuff something I definitely want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pitch. So we have seven mana, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to put the top two cards in my library into my graveyard. Here's my graveyard right here with Kalidus, Tireless, Tracker. And we are going to get back Kalidus. Because this is a game where we want to get him back in. And we're going to kill the Crypt Breaker with another Liliana. We're going to drop a Liliana. See what we're going to do? So. We cast out Kalidus. We're going to cast out a, a fresh. Liliana. Leaving us to kill with Crypt Breaker, and then we'll get a zombie token. Yep, we might as well tap and take one life. Crypt Breaker's gone. There we go. So zombies hitting the standard P2Q preliminary. Now he's bringing back and Dread Wanderer. I'm sorry, this is shooting really bad. There we go, right here. If it's a 2 1, it can be sniped. I'm going to keep on gaining tokens. Huh. Interesting. What happened is everybody's been so busy attacking the planeswalkers in this tournament. And we have Fatal Push. There's a lot of things we can do now. Alright, he's going to turn one of his lands into a blocker. But it's a nice try. It's going to be Fatal Pushed. That's a nice try. So here's the board. Here's the board. Uh, they have Lord of the Accursed. And that's it. I have Claudus at 7 6. Draina. Winning Constrictor. Many Zombies. And Liliana. It looks like it's game. I fatal pushed and murdered uh, their lands. And now we have Trenchal Gear Hulk, and that's a good night. So here's the board. 
you guys can see. I think that's a game. My tokens are 6-6 six, six creatures. Draina, she's really good. I mean, with the... Let me just look at Draina's ability right here. Whenever Draina the Liber uh, Liberator of Malakir deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter on each attack creature you control. <laughs> With Winding Constrictor, if one or more counters would be put on a artifact creature, this person is just stalling for time. They're not moving. Uh, this person is not. This person is not moving at all. This BTQ event. But if one or more counters would be put on an artifact creature, artifact or creature you control, that many plus one of each of those counters are put on that permanent instead. If you would get a one or more counters, so that's like energy counters, you get that many plus one instead of each of those kinds of counters instead. So basically, just boost up, you know, Draina. A little big time. Um, we got 11, 10, 8, 9, 6, 7, Constrictor. An 8-8 eight, eight zombie. I thought they were 6-6s. Six, sixes. Okay, I was mistaken. Those are 4-4s. Four, so, yeah, I, I, they're at 9 life. I don't see how they can brush off the damage. Plus, we got a clue counter. Plus, we can activate Drain. I mean... So, this beats zombies. I mean, straight up, this beats zombies. As I've been trying to tell people, it just beats zombies. Look. I mean, there's their board. It's turn 10, but I'm at, I mean, if you look at the life total, 9 life. Look at the other life total, 28 life. I got 23 seconds left, too, just in the nick of time, so, just in the nick of time. So, they're just stalling at this point. So, that's it, guys. That's, that's, realistically, that, that's beyond 9 life. <laughs> There's nothing they can do about it, and I'm going to gain 11. I mean... Yeah. Mess the ball game over. So, I won that one. So... <clears throat> yeah, so... Pretty good. Um, so, what we're seeing in, in these uh, PTQ preliminaries is that we're seeing um, a lot of Torrential Gearhulk um, for, for certain and we're also seeing um, Zombie <laughs> um, they played a bad Zombie deck, I'm not gonna lie, they played your traditional Zombie deck you know with um, you know Lord of the Accursed and all the things that buff up your Zombies but the problem is is that you burn out they couldn't bring back Dread Wanderer because I mean, I'm just going to grasp of darkness your Lord of the Curse, because what most people don't read about Lord of the Curse is all your other zombies. Lord of the Curse itself does not get plus one, plus one. It's a two, three. So that's when I just put grasp of darknesses in there. And it can be fatal push. You know, Tyler's Tracker, I can sacrifice a clue. And a part of the zombies' deck is Dark Salvation. And they have fatal pushes themselves, and they have grasps themselves. So they're going to kill your creatures, which is going to evoke a revolt in your fatal push. So anyway, um, making it to the next round, um, so this is taken on Gear Hulk. it's beaten Gear Hulk, um, and I've gone three games against another Gear Hulk deck. So we've witnessed a loss, we've witnessed a Gear Hulk win, we've witnessed a zombie win, um, you know, and uh, what else? Oh yeah, another zombie win, so yeah. So, um... I would strongly recommend, I, I think the zombie deck that I have, that I'm going to reintroduce to you guys, is going to have a better, and here's the records of some people, not all the records are still in, let me see, so some people dropped out of the tournament, uh, they couldn't go on, um, so we'll just see what's going on here, 
All right, we're on to the next round.